will the entities that you imagine, will their actions be judged morally? Will, you, will, they, will they be capable of good and evil? Or will those categories be retired once we get to doing these complicated operations? If I have to make a guess, those categories will probably be replaced by something subtler. I thought yeah. you would say that. Yeah. But it's all yeah. a guess, isn't yeah. it, really? But I think those creatures don't, will not have the sense of humor that Wotan has in Siegfried, well, in Siegfried, where they may, they may after, tell, after they, Valkyrie, he becomes a very subtle, uh, bitter, but very humorous figure. Or maybe this world is is a joke created by one of these superhuman AIs. We, 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 don't, know what the, we don't know what their sense yeah, of humor the burden, will be like. Wait, wait, but right? the burden of proof yeah. here is for you to prove that, not for me to deny it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that in terms of the proof of a technology that doesn't exist yet, I mean, that, that can't be offered. And until the moment the Wright brothers made airplanes fly, they were leading scientists saying it would never happen, literally the week before it happened. So, I mean, the, we're not going to prove that some new technology is going to come about to the satisfaction of skeptics. But one thing I do want to clarify, though, is my best guess of how the future will turn out is not that all humans will be annihilated and will not exist any further. And I think that there, there can be superhuman superminds that are far beyond anything we can conceive. And there can also be AIs of roughly human level intelligence that exist in the human world and, and that, that help people. So the, the way I conceive the opportunities that will be open to humans in the future is they're just very rich and diverse. I mean, one, one opportunity, you can plug your brain into the superhuman mind matrix and, and in effect become part of some transhuman god mind, thus losing yourself and individuality but, but, but and, and humanity. But let, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. let, let, let me finish, because we keep getting hung up on this point. But I, I think there will also be an opportunity to continue living a human life in much the same form as now, except with a whole AI-driven infrastructure that will 3D print any physical object that you want, that will cure any, any disease that, that you may get, and that will regulate things so that people don't blow each other up and, and such. And so you, when the humans who remain humans continue to act like humans and do evil things, will the, these super creatures, will they prevent them? I mean, will they invade Syria to stop Assad? So the, the way... Nobody knows, but the way I think about it is humans will be sort of like the squirrels in the national park, meaning we don't interfere with the love lives of the squirrels in the park, and if one squirrel bites the other's head off, we don't necessarily stop them because we view that as, like, that's what squirrels do, right? But if I think you need to find a better way to sell your ideas. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I phrase it that way just to be annoying. It works quite but, well. But the, the point is, if there's a plague in the park, then the ranger will come in and, and cure the plague, right? So I mean, or if, kill all the it, or, if the, or if there's a forest fire, mm. we will put out the fire. So I mean, I mean, if there's if there's something extreme happening, then the more intelligent being overlooking the situation will intervene because we don't care that much about whether one squirrel lives or dies, but we do want that species and, and population to continue, right? So that, 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 that's my best guess. Why is it relevant to us in traditional monotheistic theology, in all three of them, there already were such beings. They were called angels. And if you study the history of angelology, which I yeah. don't recommend, yeah. but if you study <laughs> the history of angelology, you see that the this kind of religious imagination was obsessed with the, not, the increasing perfection of the angels, with the hierarchies of the angels, with the super angels, with the A plus one angels, with the A for, you know, the angel intelligence angels, and so on. <laughs> but the thing about the angels was that they had nothing to do with the moral or spiritual life of human beings. They were simply a higher class of entities with more direct access to the Godhead. I, I can't describe it anymore because, frankly, I don't know what most of the time they're talking about. I read The but, City of God by St. Augustine yes, at one point, which, yes. which has, has many strange creatures in it. But as, as far as I know, if those ever actually existed in the human world, they're, they're, they're gone by now. Whereas the AIs I'm talking about, we could actually build in the same sense that, that we built this phone or built, or built a, a, a subway car. So there, that's a significant difference, right? But, but